So this is Tokyo Skytree, the tallest building in Japan. Because of its height compared to the buildings around it, you can get some absolutely amazing views of the Tokyo skyline. This is one of the viewing decks on the 46th floor and you can see for miles in the horizon. Uh, but we're not here just for the sights, we're here for the new Pokemon Center. This is my first visit to the uh, Sky Tree Pokemon Center because it's brand new. So when you walk in, you're greeted by this huge statue of a Pikachu riding a Rayquaza. Um, Pikachu's life size, but a Rayquaza is a bit smaller than he's supposed to be. These are the center exclusive plushes. So we have a shiny Rayquaza Pikachu and normal Rayquaza Pikachu. Also, uh, Halloween's just around the corner, so you're going to see a lot of uh, Halloween stuff. So here's some Halloween plushes. Here's some uh, keychain plushes, some mini keychain plushes. Keyrings, plastic keyrings. Awesome Halloween stuff. Pikachu on Skytree. Pokemon card sets. Requires a Pikachu charms. Pins. More Pika requires a stuff. Notepads and stationery. More plushes, keychain plushes. Bags, Gengar bag. God, it's so busy. DS cases. Socks, awesome socks. Towels. Bags. Mugs. Loads and loads of cookie tins. Awesome cookie tins, I love my cookie tins. Okay, this is the till area. So we have some plushies down here. And then we have this awesome like head of uh, shiny Rayquaza, shiny Mega Rayquaza. It's absolutely massive crashing through the ceiling. Awesome cookie tins. So this is the new uh, card art book. Let's have a little uh, flick through it, I think. So yeah, it's uh, really awesome. It shows like card art of uh, uh, some of the older Pokemon cards, it's really cool, I might have to pick it up. Loads of cute girly bits. Whole wall of plushes. Pokemon cards. Misty there. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, this is the new uh, Pokemon card set. It's like a uh, it's like a, a reprint of the original set. I might have to pick myself up a couple of booster boxes. So many plushes. Oh, this is like a little game section. So you've got like the ar the Gachapon and the arcade machines, which is really cool. So yeah, you've got some Halloween Gachapons in there. Very cute stuff. So yeah, and we're back round. Um, there's that awesome statue. Pokemon Go's also uh, been really big out here, I've noticed. Alright, let's uh, end there. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. So that was the first time uh, I did a tour of the uh, Pokemon Center Skytree. And uh, so yeah, it's a really awesome Pokemon Center. It was a bit small though, it was about the fifth the size of the Tokyo Bay uh, Pokemon Center and it was so, so busy. Uh, I mean, I've never seen a Pokemon Center so busy and I went about uh, six, seven times uh, with my camera and uh, that was actually the uh, least busiest day, if you can believe that, so uh, I took the opportunity to film. Uh, so I don't know why it's so busy, maybe it's because of kids' school holidays or because it's a new Pokemon Center, but uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll do a revisit when it's a bit quieter, but it, it might never get quieter because uh, Skytree gets uh, like thousands of tourists every day, and uh, it's prime Pokemon Center real estate, really. Uh, so yeah, really, really awesome. But uh, while I was there, if you saw in the video, there was lots of Halloween merchandise, uh, so I managed to pick some up. So uh, first things first, uh, this is the awesome uh, Pumpkin Pikachu uh, head mug. Uh, so it's made out of China, as you can hear, uh, and the head comes off, the uh, top of the head, the ears come off, and uh, this is a lid to keep your drinks warm. And uh, there's the mug itself, and it's really, really cool. Uh, it's probably one of the best pieces of uh, Pokemon Center merchandise I've had in a long, long time. It came in this box, and I managed to get the box and the mug back with no dents, no breaks, uh, so really happy about that. And uh, it came with uh, hard candies inside, but I ate them all. So uh, so this year, um, the Pokemon Center had a... Uh, had a sort of uh, a circus theme. They called it the uh, Pokemon Center Halloween Carnival. And uh, so the first uh, piece of uh, merchandise I got was this uh, plush. This is the Poncho Pikachu, uh, like a Jester Pikachu plush. And on its little card it says uh, Pokemon Halloween Circus there. And uh, in, if you haven't seen one of my other videos where I look at Pokemon Center merchandise, the uh, hoods do come off. They completely come off. Uh, and it's a good way to tell if the plush is fake or not because normally on the fakes I've seen before at cons and stuff where uh, they, they literally, it's just uh, stuffing, no ears, and they just literally sew the hood onto it. So yeah, very cool. The hood comes off. Very cool. Okay, so that was the uh, Poncho, Poncho Pikachu, the uh, just the one. Now there wasn't too many plushes, so this was the other larger plush they had. This is the, um, it's like a, a Eevee in its Halloween costume. It's like a bike water captain's hat uh, with uh, like a Napoleon's hat. It's very cute. It's got the same tag there. And uh, so I've got a lot of this stuff for friends as well, so it's not all for me. I've got a lot of uh, Pokemon Center fan uh, friends, and uh, there was also this little keychain uh, Eevee as well, so it's so got the same amount of detail as the big one, um, but yeah, it comes with this little keychain, and this was the uh, this was the only uh, disappointment, there was the Espeon and Umbreon, these are the little keychain ones as well, sorry about the rattling, but there was no larger plushes of these, uh, unfortunately, I would have liked uh, an Umbreon, definitely, like a large plush of that, so, but yeah, those are still really cute, um, there was also these little charm sets. So this has got Pikachu plus and a mining and uh, and pump kaboo there. And uh, this one has Eevee, Umbreon and Espeon there. So those are cute. And uh, there's also this uh, little pin that I got. This is Pokemon Halloween Circus. And it's got Pikachu and Eevee uh, with their little costumes. Um, okay, uh, these are the last bits of uh, Pokemon Center merchandise, uh, Halloween merchandise. So there was these little rubber charms that I got. Um, and uh, if you can see on the back, those are all the designs. So you've got some good ones on there. Uh, you've got like Pikachu on there and... Um, Plus and mining. So, you know, I don't, they're, they're pretty cool designs. I'm not really fussed which ones I get. So I've got two of these to open. Oh, that's quite cool. So I've got an Espeon there. Would have rather done Umbreon, but that's still pretty cute. And uh, 
the other one here. I've also got some Skytree ones with the uh, Rayquaza. Oh, Pumpkaboo, right there. So that's really cute. That's probably the most uh, Halloween Pokemon you can get. It's very cute. Um, so yeah, these are the Skytree ones. These have got the uh, Poncho Pikachu um, Rayquaza. So yeah, let's get the, the only one I want uh, is the, the black one. Well, you know, the other ones are cute, but I mean, the main one I want is the black one. Okay, so we've got the, um, it's got like a little wizard staff thing. It's got like a staff with a, uh, with a star on the end. So that's still really cute, it's flying through the air. And the other one I got, um, sorry about this rustling as well. Oh, awesome, there we go. So we've got the uh, the black one, and he's got like, he's got a little thumbs up, uh, and I really love, oh my God, it's so good. It's really, they're really detailed little charms as well, and they're made out of rubber, so they won't scratch up your phone. Uh, also, uh, I've got this uh, this pin set as well, so it's got the um, regular and uh, shiny Rayquaza there, very cute. And um, also got these plushes. So this one was going for like 60 to 80 uh, quid on eBay. Uh, this was the black shiny Rayquaza uh, Pikachu plush. There's a little card for it. So yeah, really happy I got that. Here's the regular um, Pikachu, there, uh, the green one. So yeah, same little card there. And uh, this just came out, I didn't see this online. This must have just come out a few days before I got there. And this is the uh, Rayquaza uh, Poncho Pikachu, the Mega Rayquaza Poncho Pikachu. Now, I didn't see, uh, I didn't see a black one, a shiny one, uh, which is a shame. I would have really liked a, uh, a Mega Black one, that would have been cool. I also picked up this, um, this Deancey uh, Poncho Pikachu, which just came out as well. And uh, this is for my girlfriend. My girlfriend actually loves Deancey so much. And uh, so it comes with all this, like, like weird little stuff. It's very cute. Uh, it's very very cute. And uh, also got this Ho-Oh -Oh as well, which I thought was um, only exclusive to another Pokemon Center, but they managed to get stocks in a must of. And uh, this came with a uh, this uh, the the one that came with it was a uh, Lugia, which they didn't have. I would have really liked a Lugia as well, but uh, I'm still on the hunt for that one. They also had this. This is the um, the substitute Pikachu, which is so cute. I mean, I love substitute ever since. Um, uh, Pokemon Stadium on uh, N64 and uh, so many Pokemon could do substitute and there's this little iconic little uh, little substitute dude and uh, oh, This is wow. This is a cookie tin a substitute cookie tin So they really went nuts with the substitute stuff and it's I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera But it's got this awesome outlines of uh, substitutes and different angles. It's got uh, Pikachu and substitute around the outside doing fun stuff so yeah, very, very cool. And um, also got this, the last piece of merchandise. What's this? This is the amazing Kori controller for uh, Pokemon Tournament. And this is the Pikachu one. Now this was only exclusive to Japan and uh, I didn't even have a second Hori controller. So I'm really happy I picked that up. And it's so, like, so, it looks so good. It looks so, so good. I haven't opened that yet, but yeah, it's really, really good. Um, so yeah, uh, schedule announcements. So while I was in Japan, I managed to get a capture card built in into my 3DS, so I will be doing a playthrough, full playthrough of Pokemon Sun and Moon, well, Pokemon Moon, um, but there is a Pokemon Sun and Moon demo coming out very soon, next few days, so I plan to get that up in the next few days uh, on this channel, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, also, I might have some Pokemon Go footage coming up very soon. Uh, I, I went to uh, Ueno Park, which is a park near Akihabara, and uh, I did some nice footage there of uh, this, this beautiful park, uh, lots of lots of nature, lots of animals, very cute, and also played some Pokemon Go there because it was a magic art spawn. I managed to get a couple of Requa a couple of uh, Gyaradoses, which is very cool, and uh, and a Dragon Knight and stuff like that. So very very happy with that. So that should be out soon. And uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out my channel before, I've got a ton of other Pokemon Center tours. I've got Pokemon card unboxings and a ton of other stuff. So yeah, guys, have a have a sift through my stuff. Uh, I've got lots of cool stuff knocking around. And yeah, thanks for watching to the end. I appreciate it. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.